Here we have an example of a self-driving Masonian solid-state device that will drive this Tesla Masonian resonator with a inductance of, depending on the number of turns of wire here in the secondary, and then the capacitance is not its self-capacitance, but it's the capacitance of this capacitor bank. And then uh, there's a driving, a coil being driven here by a solid state driving system, which gets its logic from the magnetic field and not from driving IC chips. And then there's a pickup coil that's right next to the driving primary coil. There's two wires here, which goes to this DC rectifier and then what is called a clover bank, which then turns on our example light bulb with DC current. There is also an LED here, which will be turned on by induction through a small coil that is actually inside of this Tesla Masonian resonator. So let's turn this on and demonstrate that the light bulbs do come on. The light bulb hooked up to the clover bank, which is hooked up to a coil here. And notice there's no high voltage here. There's no high voltage. The, the electric field is now being stored in capacitors and not a self-capacitance. Therefore, the Tesla resonator doesn't even need to be grounded right now. So there's the H-bridge with right here with this coil that has current going through it through these black wires here. And these black wires, as you can see, if you follow them from, from right back to where they start, there's one wire here that connects. And if you follow the wire, you see it connects to the bottom of the secondary coil. And if you follow the other lead of it, this one here, it goes to this, which is ground, which is arbitrary. You, you don't need it. We're just selecting a spot. Which then goes to this end of this high voltage, of this bank, capaci bank capacitors, which then goes to this small wire here, which just shocked me a little bit, but not with a very high voltage, which then comes to the top of our Tesla-owning resonator. So it is resonating not with a self-capacitance, but with this external bank of capacitors here on the side. And it's still enough to very lightly light up a, light up an LED and a small light bulb, incandescent light bulb. Let's turn it down so you can see it. There it is. So right here, we can see that it's much brighter than this light bulb would normally be. Yet our input current, if we can show it on the meter here, is a little over 10 amps at about seven volts AC input. So this, the total wattage into this system is not very high, yet this light bulb is extremely lit and this LED is extremely lit. So if I was, so if I lift up on the secondary, so you can see underneath, you can see a coil under, inside the secondary coil with these two wires coming out which go to the LED. Now, we can also look down and see the coil inside here. It's just a coil sitting at the bottom. It's about seven turns of coil which just connect to this LED. So notice we're making a transformer here. We have two outputs, one going to a DC rectifier and a light bulb 
and the other one is going to an LED and lighting it up with high frequency. And this incandescent light bulb over here is being lit up not with high frequency, but by DC current from this clover bank here. So this clover bank is rectifying the DC to light up our incandescent light bulb from a high frequency current which is coming from follow the wire here, a primary coil which starts here and ends over here and then the other coil which coil is that? That's, that's the coil that is being driven by our H bridge. You see one wire connects here, which goes into our primary driving coil. And then our other wire is over here. Which goes to the top of our driving coil. Again, here's just an overview. And to show that it's a self-driving unit, you, can, you might be able to see that the green LED on the circuit board is on. Okay, but now I'm going to turn the circuit board off and the fan will turn off too and the green LED will dim. Yet the light bulb and the LED are still on. That's because the board is now driving itself. It needs no driving ICs. The board, circuit board completely has no power, but is still being driven by this Tesla resonating current drive, current gate drive transformer. So if you turn off the power, okay, power's off now. Light bulbs aren't lit. If you turn the power back on, the light bulbs still aren't lit. But the driving ICs, if you turn them on and then back off, is enough to kickstart the self-driving system. Okay, let's demonstrate that again. If I come here, turn the drivers on, turn the drivers off, everything's lit. I come over here, I turn the, the, the power off so there's no getting 